Welcome. Namaste. Today we're looking at a few yoga poses with the resistance band to show you how the body has, when it gives a resistance, it really can open up much more. And resistance activates the muscles in a correct way, whereas um, without the tension, uh, with correct alignment and to rehab and to change tight muscles into active and strong muscles. So there's a few things that we do with a band that is just, it's just nice in yoga. So the first is if you take it, take it double, put it around your lower back and pull it then over the shin. Already that will help you to sit helping the spine to lift up so that you can relax into your core. And that's where you can start with some breathing. Good. Close your eyes for a moment. Let's do full yogic breathing from the belly to the throat. Ujjayi breath. Feel the body slowing down. Let your body use the strap, the resistance band, as you relax the lower back, softening the front of the body. Now continue focusing on the breath as we move into the pose. Place your hands in front of you. Inhale, lift. Align your neck and reach from your belly, keeping the sit bones on the floor. Breathe. In this position, press down into your hands like you're in a downward facing dog and activate the shoulder girdle by pulling the hands towards the little finger side and wrapping underneath into the armpits. Inhale, lift from the belly and use your stomach to pull your way back. Change the cross of your legs to the other side. Place the hands. Scoop down the belly, navel into the spine, shoulders relax, chin back and exhale. Active through the hands, lifting in the armpits. Pull the hands apart, press the hands down. Every exhalation, gently letting go. After your next breath, lift from the belly and slide back. Hmm. Take the one strap, place it onto your foot, press out and lengthen it to the side. Do a side stretch, root both sit bones, grab the big toe, place the hand onto the floor, soften the ribs, Inhale. The best way to get a good arm position is place your hand behind your head. Relax the elbow to drop the shoulder. Then pull the elbow long, opening the rib cage, and over to the side. And once you've got the shoulder relaxed, 
elbow in, lengthening, twisting open. Then extend the hand out. Breathe. Inhaling to come up and bring the leg back. Place both feet into this resistance band, soles of your feet together. Baddha Konasana. Place the hands or hold the feet or whichever variation you prefer. Soften the ribs, soften the lower back. Lengthen in the nape of the neck as you scoop and lengthen from the belly, stretching forward and down. Inhaling, coming up, relax. Take the leg that was out to the side and take that strap over the shin. Take the other leg out to the side. For the side stretch and behind the neck on the hairline, reach for the big toe. Relax rib cage, scoop from the lower belly, shoulders relax, elbow in and gently to go to the side, pulling your elbow along, hip drop. And when you're ready, shoulder is down, reach the arm over. Just the outer rotation of the upper arm and pull through the tips of your fingers. Inhale to come back up. Place your leg back in, back over the shin, and relax. The next position I want to show you is Navasana. Navasana often has the problem of cramping in the hip flexor or tightening too much and also overworking in the quads. Whereas it really wants to come from the core and upper core right down to the lower core. So to show you with this resistance band, place it underneath your armpits. Can you put it around the feet? And keep the pressure there. And once you got that, hands forward and push quickly away from you. So already that, to feel the extension, the pull back of your rib cage, chest, and tucking the chin. That is really, really the great feeling of Navasana. If you can find your balance there, yes, if you want more length in the spine, keep your ribs down and try and extend up in the upper back. If you can, straighten the arms out and balance. So of course your next more advanced option is to try and push the legs even straighter. So you, you'll feel there's an equal push to pull. As much as my chest is pulling back, that's as much as my legs can pull. And you'll notice all in the core, nothing in the thighs. Squeezing around. If you need to feel what really is happening is put your hands on the floor and push and feel your core elongate up to the crown of your head. So bending in the knees, you can bend and push it out to strengthen the position. Bend and push it out. So this will help to understand what your pelvis is doing in Bakasana position. Bring your knees on the outside, take the strap and put it into your lower back. And the same thing there, just 
get it closer into the groin and stretching the legs out. So now I'm scooping. I can scoop the knees into the chest, scoop the tummy, and then find that balance. So the lower back is always very open. Do that lying down, relax the feet down, and roll down to lying on your back. Bring the knees up into the chest, hug the legs. Now activate your legs, push the big toes will stay together, the hands as if you're doing a push up. Place them in the air and press your legs, scoop the knees even more to the armpits, like your chin. If you need to, bring your head up a little bit Otherwise, work on lifting your hips higher. And there's Blissful Baby. Take your feet and just relax. And take the strap out to the side and legs down. Slowly come up and up, place your, uh, just straighten up the legs up to the sky. Now when we do abs, this is really a nice teach, teacher for abs. Drop the ribs, pull the lower belly, lengthen the nape of your neck. Press down to make the hips raise up. If you need to on this one, look towards the navel. If you can, hold the hips up, elongate, tuck the chin, lengthen shoulder blades, flush on the floor, open pecs, relaxed shoulders. Keep pressing the legs up. Open your legs nice and wide in that nice pelvis position. Into Upavista, hold over the knees and gently rock from side to side or bounce. Exhaling, bring the legs in, bend, put this out ways like putting the resistance band on the inside of the knee and then undo the strap. You could, if you like, roll up to seated and then undo. 